When things aren't going your way, it's always easier to give up on overcoming obstacles and just to choose an easier path. Maybe you're wondering if it's time to quit your job and look for something else. But what if that difficulty is what you actually need to reach the next level of greatness in your life? Today, I'll be sharing three disciplines that helped me with my goals in my life from the book, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Hey guys, I'm Muneev. I'm just a humble multimillionaire who started multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I'm here to help you with your success journey, so let's get it started. The discipline of perception. The first step is how you're going to solve your problem. How do you perceive problems? In 1857, there was an economic panic. It seemed that it wasn't the best time to invest since no one trusted the economy at the time. But for John D. Rockefeller, he took it as an apprenticeship in difficulty. He knew that if he could survive this chaos, he would survive any economic crisis. He studied what opportunities people were missing out on. So he made most of his wealth when everything else was crashing. So but what I mean is that it's better to expose yourself to a challenge and a complex situation early on so you can handle pressure better. And so all the things we see as problems and setbacks and obstacles are actually opportunities for us to grow. Because we don't control what happens to us, but we control how we respond to what happens to us. And this philosophical idea can be applied to any situation to help you navigate your way in a world full of unpredictabilities. Whether it's entrepreneurship or your personal happiness or even sports. It's why when thousands of people are screaming at the top of their lungs, athletes can still make that shot. You have to expose yourself to difficult situations in life to become a better version of yourself. The second discipline is the discipline of action. All of your thoughts on overcoming obstacles are great, but if there's no action involved, it becomes pointless. Successful people are all about taking action on whatever they're going through. In the book, Ryan talks about how Amelia Earhart was given the opportunity to be the first woman to fly across the Atlantic, but the problem was no one really believed in her. The offer was bad because she wasn't really going to pilot the plane. She wasn't even going to get paid. She was rather a navigator riding along. But as humiliating as it was, she took it because she knew all she needed was momentum and a chance. And when that mission was over, with all the coverage they were getting, Amelia turned things around. She took the fame as an opportunity to have more people back her up. And eventually she fulfilled her goal to be the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. Imagine if she backed out or waited for that perfect opportunity because she chose to chase her dreams. We may never have heard her amazing story. Life is never going to be fair. If we want to see our lives get better, we need to take action and work whatever we can and do what we can to turn things around. Whatever is in front of you, all the tools that you need to progress in life is just like Amelia Earhart. Always think with your stick forward. She meant grab your flight stick and always move the needle forward. Just a quick break from this topic. I'm giving away a free book that will help you on your journey to financial freedom if you sign up using my link down below. If you want more technical strategies to improve your financial health, you can also join me on my premium list to get an extra book. Again, just click the link down below and there's nothing to pay. The third discipline in the book is the discipline of will. We don't control recessions or pandemics or calamities or even enemies who want to bring us down. But what we can, however, is bear and overcome them as long as we have the will to persevere against any obstacles. One of my favorite stories that Ryan Holiday likes to share is when Thomas Edison's factory burned down. At the time, Thomas Edison was the most famous and most successful inventor. But one day while Thomas was having dinner with his family, one of his workers came and told him him, the factory was on fire. And while the factory was burning, Thomas Edison said to his son, go get your mother and all of her friends. They'll never see a fire like this one again. Thomas wasn't being a maniac or anything. It was just that he had a strong will and was extremely optimistic. And instead of crying about his life or crying about his life's work burning in front of his eyes, Thomas Edison instead enjoyed watching the factory burn down because he already knew he couldn't do anything about it. Nothing that he could have done could have saved the factory at that point. Nothing to do but accept and move on. And that's what he did. He started working even harder, rebuilding it, and he came back even better for what he had gone through. Just like Thomas Edison, all of your life's work can disappear overnight and it's easy to quit and be sorry about it. You can grieve about it. You can grieve about what happened to you. But the next question you need to ask yourself is are you willing to bounce back? Whatever is happening 
happening to you? Are you willing to be better as a result of this injury, as a result of this financial loss, as a result of this failure? These are unfortunate things that occur in life, but they are also opportunities for us to become better versions of ourselves. So don't give up. Persistence is the key to create better outputs. Perseverance is what will help you hang on for years to come from trial and error and tribulations. They're all going to be there. Are you willing to continue? So those are the three most important disciplines that I learned from Obstacle is the Way. Even when some things are against you, remember there are no obstacles that you can't overcome. Everything is a learning process. So always try to keep stepping up. And instead of reducing adversity in life, change your perspective. How are you going to turn your adversaries into advantages? Just like Amelia Earhart did and learn to accept fate when disaster strikes you, just like Thomas Edison did, accepted the fate of his factory. Thank you for watching. To impart what we've learned, here's my favorite quotes that I'd like to share with you. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and help us reach more people so that we can give more information like this and change lives for the better. If you want to learn more about life-changing books, look here, my top five recommended books that will change your life. Books for success.